What is mathematics? A great philosopher, Galileo, once said, the laws of nature are written in the language of mathematics. Math is a human language just like English because it allows people to communicate with each other. Even in the ancient times, people needed it to conduct trade, build pyramids, measure long distances. It is the powerful aid to the human mind and the most glorious creation of the human intellect. Math is everywhere, from the shapes of planets to the properties of an atom. Our universe is completely mathematical. It is your identity. You can't quote your age without it. It is the historical timeline. Math is used by engineers to build infrastructure and telecommunications, by doctors to prescribe the right dose of medicine, by researchers to prove a research, by pilots to navigate, by politicians to count vote, and even by gamblers to find their chances of winning. And this list goes on and on. Maths disciplines us. Even time is a measured quantity. We couldn't have known the exact time if we didn't know numbers. It is the very foundation of the modern civilization and is the key to problem solving, logical reasoning, and creative thinking. Hence, the very act of learning math helps us acquire accurate thinking, which is necessary in all the pursuits of life. We all need maths, but one might think, why are so many kids confused by it? Is it because only a few of them are determined for maths, while others are not? This isn't the case at all. It's just a myth that there exists a thing known as a math brain. The idea is disapproven by the brain science. It's because somewhere along the line, we've taken this language of math, which is about the real world, and abstracted it beyond recognition. And that's why most of the kids are confused. It's high time that we change this approach, and there you are. Math becomes intuitive and easy to understand. Mathematical thinking not only builds young minds, but all kids need it to imagine and build a future that doesn't yet exist. Understanding has no end to its depth, and mathematics seeks the highest standards of understanding, so it will definitely take you to the next level. The next time you find yourself frustrated in a math class, maybe think about where maths could take you. The universe is like an endless room with endless treasures and secrets. The deeper we go into it, the more interesting it gets. Human mind is filled with immense curiosity to find out all the hidden circuits of the universe. This curiosity has developed from the visible phenomenon of nature occurring around us in our daily lives. Mankind has observed the nature's gift from the beginning of universe. The burning fire out of stones and the heat emerging from the fire. The thunder lightning in a stormy night. Sounds of thunder. The days and nights the sun and the moon, and lots of other things that make the universe a wonder, provoke human mind to find out more about them. Physics is a Greek word which means knowledge of nature. Physics deals with the study of nature and properties of matter, energy, and their relationship. Physics include all kinds of matter. In smallest form, it includes atoms and the tiniest particles that make up an atom. And in larger physical forms, it includes stars, planets, and the universe. It includes energy in all forms like light, air, sound, magnetism, gravity, etc. In other words, physics teaches us about the study of naturally occurring objects that might not even have a shape, but are fundamentals in occurrence of universe. A brief overview. Physics, in particular, focuses on some of the most fundamental questions about our physical universe. Physics can also be described as the science dealing with physical quantities. In this regard, physics is widely considered to be the most fundamental and important of all the natural sciences. Physics and mathematics are closely related to one another. It could be said that mathematics is the language of physics. That is another way of better understanding what physics is. Numerical values, units of measurement, and similar concepts are all mathematical in nature and are used to describe physics in the most accurate and precise manner. Physics has several branches dealing with different forms of matter and energy in space and time. Acoustics, the study of sound and sound waves. Astronomy, the study of space. Astrophysics the study of physical properties of objects in space. Optics, the study of propagation, behavior, and properties of light. Thermodynamics, the study of heat and its relation with energy and work. Geophysics, the study of the shape, structure, and composition of Earth and its crust. Atomic physics, it deals with the study of composition of atom apart from nucleus. Other than these, physics has various other branches that we'll cover over a period of time. What is chemistry? Chemistry is the science of matter. This may sound simple, but chemistry is a complex and broad topic that covers a wide variety of fields. 
from the core of the Earth to the farthest reaches of the universe, chemistry is everything and everywhere. Chemistry, a definition. Chemistry is the study of matter, including its composition, properties, and structure, how it changes, and how it interacts with energy. This is a pretty simple definition that sums up what is actually a complex and fascinating subject. If you have ever asked why or how something is in the natural world, odds are good that your question and the answer were related to chemistry. For instance, why is the sky blue? Colors depend on the chemical makeup of substances and what kind of light they reflect. How does an insect walk across the surface of a pond without falling through? The unique properties of water give it a high surface tension, which means that small objects can rest on it without sinking. Chemistry is all around, and anything related to matter involves chemistry. Main Branches of Chemistry Since chemistry is such a broad and vast subject, we can divide it up into more manageable topics to help us more accurately. 1. Organic Chemistry 2. Inorganic Chemistry 3. Analytical Chemistry 4. Physical Chemistry 5. Biochemistry We will learn more about these topics as we go on. You may have learned to classify a rose or a human as living, rock and water as non-living. But why is this so? If you say that living is something that moves, but then flowing water can be called living, right? That's not entirely true. Life has a set of properties that an organism has to follow to be called living. And a wonderful discipline of science studies life in great detail. It is called biology. The word bio means living, and logi means study. So biology means the study of living things. Simply put, anything which interacts with its environment, use energy and reproduce, are known as living things. For example, we humans eat food to get energy, feel and respond to our environment, and reproduce to make more of ourselves. Many other living things like insects, birds, and animals have the same properties like us, so they are all living organisms. Now the question arises, how many types of living things are there? And how are they different from us? Biology is a field which answers these questions and many more questions related to living things. What is biology? There are seven characteristics that a living thing follows, and therefore we study this in the vast field of biology. These are 1. Order. If you examine a rose from near, you will notice it is very ordered. The petals are whirled around each other with the center bearing seeds. This illustrates the highly ordered structure that typifies life. Living cells are the basis of this complex organization. 2. Reproduction Organisms reproduce their own kind. A mother giant panda will always give birth to a panda, not a horse. We learned that from Kung Fu Panda, too. 3. Growth and Development Inherited information in the form of DNA controls the pattern of growth and development of all organisms. You most probably look like your parents or a close relative, thanks to the genes. 4. Energy Processing We humans eat food to get energy. The food we eat has also eaten some food to utilize its chemical energy stored in order to power its own activities and chemical reactions. 5. Response to the Environment All organisms respond to environmental stimuli. This is why you laugh when you are tickled. 6. Regulation Many types of mechanisms regulate an organism's internal environment, keeping it within limits that sustain life. This is also called homeostasis. A lemur sunbathes to help raise the animal's body temperature on cold mornings. 7. Evolutionary Adaptation Lions use camouflage to blend in with the savanna so they can easily hunt down an animal. Such adaptations evolve over many generations. Some new concepts like genes and DNA are introduced in this video. These will be explained in our upcoming videos. Stay tuned. Thank you for your continuous support, especially our valued patrons and members who have been encouraging us to keep producing more quality content.